Congratulations. Congratulations to all of the prominent names within the YouTube community that just made each and every one of us out as a fucking joke. You guys deserve a pat on the back. Honestly, what was just witnessed should be embarrassing to anybody and everyone that's a part of this community. Anyone and everyone. And there's not a single person that's not included in that statement. You know, I, I learned two things from tonight. One is that 50% of these commentators are sellouts. And another thing is that the other 50% of these commentators are little fucking kids. They may not be age-wise, but they sure act like it. And why do you people... Why do you people commend them for their actions? You know, there was this whole barrage of commentators that, uh, you know, were rebels against the cause and went to troll that event. But really, all they were doing was feeding right in to Elkie David and what he wanted all along. And for you guys to not be able to realize it, when a 500 subscriber commentator can is just sad you know it's it's sad it really is you know dr disrespect put out a tweet and he put it perfectly i quote things need to be said so i'll say it the youtube community has taken a step back dealing with this baby alki i may need to wake up unquote you know, he's absolutely right. He couldn't be closer to the truth. It's like you hear guys like C. Nanners and Hutch always talking about how the times have changed, how the landscape of the community has changed. And, you know, I never took that as an insult, but uh, I sit there and think, you know, this is our time. This is, you know, this is my generation of commentators. This is when I stepped in and started being a commentator. And it's like, you know, I, I want to not believe those comments more and more every time I see them. But every time I see them, it becomes harder and harder to not agree with everything they say. You know, and I think, <clears throat> I really think it's starting to hit home now more than ever. Because there came a point where they were looking for commentators to join this, you know, this miraculous billionaire challenge and to join one of the games and they came up shorthanded. They were sitting there baffled for 10 minutes looking for people to join. And that was honestly the only positive thing that I saw the whole night. And then you got Keemstar sitting there bashing all the commentators that don't want to be a part of this. You have Alki David, who has no clue of anything, sitting there bashing commentators for backing out. It's like, how are we going to put power in the hands of a guy who has no clue what it means to be a commentator, who has no respect for the commentators? You know, we do this for fun. Well, at least most of us, most of us do this for fun. But regardless of if we do it for fun or not, there is a lot of time and a lot of effort put into these videos. A lot of time and a lot of effort. And, you know, all of these smaller channels like myself, we work so hard to try to build this community up because really, you know, the guys like Woody and x Jaws and White Boy, they already have not made. They can do their thing and they're going to get views no matter what they do. But it's the guys like, you know, the guys like me, the guys with under a thousand subs, we're the ones that are busting our asses trying to make a name for ourselves, and even more importantly, trying to make a name for this community. And to see that we just get stepped on, and to see that, you know, we're made out as a joke, 
it's frustrating. It's frustrating both as a commentator and as a viewer. <clears throat> you know, I put so much time into each and every one of these commentators as far as watching their videos go. Even before I was a commentator, I put so much time into watching their videos. You know, partly, yeah, partly because they were entertaining, but, you know, also because I respect these guys and I wanted to support them. And it's like, now I look at it, what was I really supporting? You know, I, I really think that this has to be a wake up call for this community as a whole. So many people throw around that word, community, gaming community, this community. But I don't think half of the people that say that really recognize and really realize and actually appreciate what we mean by that. You know, Hutch, C Nanners, X Cals, Blame Truth. Those guys were the first tier commentators and they paved the way for us. And then you have the second generation of commentators who comes and they make us out to be a laughing stock. It's really funny. You know, you wonder why gaming isn't giving more respect on YouTube, and this is why. Look who we have leading it. Look who we have at the forefront of gaming on YouTube. I don't question that anymore. And until something changes, until something changes drastically, I don't plan on seeing that change. You know, if we're going to have guys like DJ Keemstar and you know, people like Boy Boy Seven Street at the forefront of this community. There's, there's no hope. At least not unless they change themselves. And you know, I do applaud White Boy to an extent, but really, all he was doing, you know, all any of these commentators that were trolling the event, all they were doing was giving Alki David what he wanted, and that was publicity. Whether it be good or bad publicity. Any publicity at the end of the day is good publicity. I just used the word publicity eight times, but if that's how many times I have to use it to get the point across, that's that's what I'm gonna do. You know, extras and white boy and gold gloves sitting there commanding themselves, just you know, sitting there acting like they are such heroes for going and trolling this event. You fed right into his plan. You gave him what he wanted. So supposedly, you know, you doing these actions to stick up for the community, all you did was take us a step back even further than we already were. Honestly, I think we would have been better off if you guys would have just not been involved, stayed out of it, and left it be. Because all you did was bring more viewers to that live stream, and all you did was put more money in that guy's pockets. And that's all he cares about. He doesn't give a fuck about me, about you, about the viewers. I even saw a tweet from White Boy saying that Algie David said, fuck the viewers. And something along the lines of, you know, make more money or something like that. And that's the guy that's trying to take over this community. And the guys that are currently leading our community, you know, the, the top dog commentators, all they did was get him that much closer. So, you know, I just want you guys to ask yourselves, is that what you really want? It's your boy Sven D. And I'm out.